from shopping. I ended up going to Safeway and got this bag, which you can get this from Safeway. Oh no! <laughs> Oops, fit girl problems. <laughs> So Thai Jasmine Rice uh, from this the Safeway brand, which this is a five pound bag for $6.99 from Safeway. This will last you a long time. Then we have all of your, we've got your turkey, your chicken, and we included in the cucumbers <laughs> to that. You got your peanut butter, the potatoes, the broccoli, bananas, onion, we added that in, green beans, we added these in. <laughs> We've got your berries, strawberries, and then we added the cilantro and the green onion. If you got your oatmeal from Sprouts, I think the most it is is about 99 cents a pound. So you can get 10 pounds for 10 bucks or 5 pounds for $5. So, um, so let's just say you got 5 pounds for $5. All right, so the receipts are tallied up. And all this food, let's take one more look. 6.5 pounds of chicken, okay? six pounds of turkey, your five pounds of rice, you have your potatoes, you have all this peanut butter, and then you have your veggies. All this food comes to a whopping $85.31. So all that food cost me 85 bucks. 85 bucks, dude? What? Are you serious? Uh -oh. What? No. What was our budget? $200. So now you have $115 left over, give or take, to do with what you want. Could go towards bills, new clothes, gym clothes, um, supplements, you name it. It can be up to you. Or if you want to add more to your list of foods. Now the key, the trick is, is being creative with all these foods now. So many people think you have to buy this plethora of stuff just to have amazing meals. But the key is, is getting creative with everything you have. It's not awesome? So let's cook. <laughs> we almost forgot eggs, egg whites. <clears throat> so if you guys get a muscle egg from muscleegg.com and use my code, you get about like $5 off. Um, you can get two half a gallons, so which would end up making one big one like this. That's like $45 and then you get my discount. And then, you know, plus tax and all that. But it'll last you a long time. That's a gallon, gallon. That's like a milk jug. Plus, they come in with different flavors. Chocolate, vanilla are my favorite. My absolute favorite than the regular. And then they have like pumpkin spice, they have chocolate mint, they have strawberry, they have something else. I don't remember. But check it out, muscleegg.com. Um, so it's not on the grocery list, but I have tilapia. So how I make my tilapia and how it tastes amazing, I did post it on Instagram. But I'm going to post it on YouTube too. Ingredients here. And I put it into a large container like this, shake it up a little bit, just like this so I can put the fish right in there. I like using my George Foreman <laughs> to cook it, so it's heating up right now. Make sure they're all covered. That almost too big. I like using my George Foreman for it to grill my fish because it kind of makes it a little bit golden crispy on the outside edges and it helps get rid of that fishy taste, which I know a lot of you don't like that about fish if you can taste the fish part of it. So this actually makes it good, but that combination of seasonings makes it taste really, really good. Okay, so next um, I'm taking all the, I don't know how many chicken breasts this is, but a whole bunch of chicken breasts. <laughs> I thawed them all out from the Costco chicken. Now I'm gonna cut them up into strips and cook them in the pan with none other than taco seasoning. So we're gonna do that one. I'm doing a lot because I'm feeding two people and one person eats about seven, eight times a day and I eat about six times a day. So we need a lot of chicken. But for you, you probably won't, you'll probably need like two or three chicken breasts to start. Uh, to meal prep with so um, we're just cooking we're just cooking this in the pan I used to make my crock pot chicken all the time which my recipes on my Instagram under JH fit 
hashtag jhfit crockpot chicken or my website jenheward.com otherwise um, I've been pan frying it lately just because it gives it a different flavor we're gonna cook a little cook a little bit and then we're gonna throw the seasoning in there and then let it finish cooking that way so we'll cover it and let it simmer Done. So now we're gonna put it in a container. That's what it looks like when it's done. It simmer and cook for a while in its own juice and the um, seasoning, just so, so you can see how juicy it looks <laughs> with all this stuff on there. The longer you do this, the more and more you cook, you end up you start eyeing things and guesstimating. You just get used to it. <laughs> That's kind of what I do with the chicken. So chicken's done. Ta da! So this is a lot of chicken that's already prepped and prepared for us for the next two or three days. So that's what I do with chicken. I know a lot of you are going to probably ask, why white rice? Isn't it bad for you? No. White rice is just basically stripped of the outer casing. When you have the outer casing on it, what does it make it? That's brown rice. Did you know that? The reason why they always say brown rice is better for you is because it still has that casing around which has the most of the nutritional value on the brown rice. White rice is just stripped of that. It's um, a little bit different flavor, and it uh, cooks differently. It's actually actually faster digesting and absorbing into your system versus brown rice. Not by much, but if you look at the nutritional value between brown rice and white rice, it's practically almost exactly the same. I like jasmine rice because it just has a good flavor. So, but it just depends on your preference. Next, <laughs> we're gonna do sweet potatoes. I actually like to peel my potatoes because I don't really like the skin. That's just a personal preference. You can leave the skin on if you want, um, but I like to peel mine and then kind of chop them up into little pieces. <laughs> We're gonna throw some white onion in there, so it'll in with some herbs and some uh, Himalayan pink sea salt, um, just to spice it up a little bit. Maybe. So we'll let it cook most of the way first, then we'll throw the rest of the stuff in there. Starting the burner, we're going to start cooking that. chop them for the little pieces, put them in the pan, and then we're going to use um, the balsamic caramelized onion seasoning, the one that I've gotten from Whole Foods. I actually bought a whole bunch and emptied them and put them in this container, so this is like a bunch of those packages in one, so I put it in here, but it's like this balsamic vinegar caramelized onion seasoning from Whole Foods. I don't remember, I don't have the packaging, so I don't know exactly name, but it is on my Instagram. So, but I'm going to saute them with this. You can saute these or you can even eat them raw. They're like crunchy, they're, they're good that way too. So it just depends on how you want them. You can cook them or eat them raw. 
our sauteing green beans and we're going to steam we're going to steam broccoli meal prepping like a boss it's almost midnight, just finishing up meal prep. Um, I started way, way, way late tonight. <laughs> way too late. But um, Zach was actually gone this whole weekend. He was competing in a jujitsu tournament. Um, a lot of you um, probably seen some Instagram posts, uh, but uh, Zach is really big into jujitsu and Muay Thai. He was down in Long Beach at the No Gi uh, tournament championship and he's actually getting back really really late tonight so that's what he was doing all weekend but that's Zach's passion that's what he likes to do is compete in that stuff he also t coaches and uh, teaches it at our uh, gym as well so I was here taking care of the puppies and taking care of the gym being boss woman and prepping but I usually prep his meals and cook his meals for him every night because I do my own so but gotta make sure that boy's fed gotta keep him muscly <laughs> so 1.15 in the morning, we just got home, and what'd you get? What did Zach get? Got a no-gi champion of the world in my weight division. Ooh, look at that gold medal. <laughs> look at that smile. <laughs> proud, proud girlfriend right here. <laughs> Did a good job. Lots of hard work. And what uh, what about this tournament? What about it? Yeah. It's a 2015 Nogi World Championships. So one of the best? Yeah. One of yeah. The best. Legit. Yeah. There you go. And you got gold. So yeah. that means like out of his whole out of, division. Out of the 202 right. pound weight division, yeah. 200 and what? 202 pounds. 202 pounds. So his weight division. Overall. Number one. If you're not first, you're last. <laughs> yeah. 